We are spilling the beans. We're letting the cat out of the bag. We're opening the money-making can of Wapow. Okay, maybe that's a little excessive, but now that I have your attention, my name's Leah from Printify, and I'm going to share five amazing ways to make money online. No, I'm not gonna share get-rich-quick schemes with you because I actually want you to make money, not waste your time. This video is for the motivated and determined. Whether you wanna earn some side money, go hard at the start of life, and then sit back as the cash flows in, or just earn enough to go on that dream vacation, we've got a strategy for you. Now, we're gonna put you to work right away. First things first, hit those like and subscribe buttons to keep us motivated to bring you more content. All right, next, we're gonna make you reflect a little by asking you some questions. Think about what you're good at and consider the pros and cons of each strategy. Question number one, ever thought someone should put that on a t-shirt? Got a cool logo idea? Got a niche you're obsessed with? Wanna have your own business? Use the power of print on demand to create and sell merchandise. Did you know that the revenue generated by the custom t-shirt printing industry is expected to reach over $11 billion by 2027? Credence Research forecasts a growth of over 7.49% by that time. Get a slice of that pie by putting your idea on anything and everything from t-shirts to trucker hats to pet bowls to underwear. Printify's catalog alone has over 650 unique products to choose from. Monetize your obsession with custom merch. Let's look at a few of the pros and cons now. No upfront investment is needed for inventory, no bulk ordering or gambling with your money. This also makes it easy to experiment with different designs and products until you find something that sells. Focus on what you're good at. You can concentrate your energy on the creative aspects of your store or marketing your brand while your print-on-demand partner handles storage, shipping, and fulfillment. Flexibility and control. Become an entrepreneur. Be your own boss. Using print on demand to create your own online store is a great way to learn a business without taking on everything. Shared responsibility. Your print on demand partner will take care of inventory, shipping, and fulfillment, but you'll be fully responsible for things like design, marketing, and advertising. Sales won't happen automatically and it can be difficult to stand out. Just because you've created an awesome product doesn't mean buyers will immediately come to you. Successful store owners spend a lot of time marketing and promoting their products. Returns might require a bit more attention. Return policies serve as protection for both you and your customers. Since you're working with a third party, you'll have to be very clear with your return policies. Check out these free Etsy shop policy templates we've created for you. These can be tailored for other sales platforms as well. Just make sure to check out their policies too. Let's move on to question number two. Do you have an eye for design? Know how to build a website? Got a few social media tricks up your sleeve? Then sell your skills. Sell your hobbies by freelancing. According to Upwork, 36%, more than a third of the entire US workforce performed freelance in the past year. The gig economy is growing. A lot of people either lack technical know-how, struggle with creativity, or are simply too busy focusing on other things. With the popularity of online shopping continuously growing, or people simply wanting to work from home, it's no wonder more and more people are setting up shop online. Fill in those knowledge or time gaps for them by offering your skills on a platform platform like Upwork or Fiverr. Flexibility. Turn off that alarm clock and choose your own hours. Save time by commuting to your couch, not the office, or swap the suit and tie for your favorite pair of sweats. Control and independence. You can work as much or as little as you want. Focus on what you want without interrupting meetings or other office distractions. Choose your own projects. Pursue your passion and choose projects that are meaningful to you. Ultimate responsibility. Things like getting and managing clients, billing and collecting payments, and taxes, that's all on you. You're accountable for everything. Lack of benefits. Since freelancers are self-employed, you'll most likely miss out on any health benefits, be responsible for finding your own insurance, and won't get the perks of paid time off. Sporadic work. Finding new projects or clients can be tough, or sometimes projects fall through, which can lead to inconsistent cash flow. Number three, are you a people person? Love sharing your ideas? Do you just love talking? I obviously do. Become a content creator. I know some of you might be rolling your eyes now. I'm not saying become an influencer, although if that's your thing, take advantage. There are so many directions you can take this, whether it's for entertainment purposes, to inform or educate, or just for yourself, and there are a lot of different ways to deliver your content. Podcasts, blogs, videos, live streams, TikTok. Let's face it, the world lives on the internet. Statista found that there are 4.95 billion internet users worldwide. 
That's almost 63% of the global population. Build an audience around a topic or niche that you're passionate and knowledgeable about, and then monetize. For example, consider paid posts or create and sell some custom merch to your fans. Some good things and some not so good things about content creation. You're in control. Create the exact content that you want and decide how you want it delivered. You get to express yourself. This is your creative outlet to express your ideas. Whether you get a big or small audience, you get the satisfaction of seeing people enjoy something that you created. It can be highly profitable. Of course, that doesn't happen overnight, usually. But building a brand and gaining an audience can lead to sponsorships, partnerships, merch, and more. Remember when I said the world lives on the internet? That also means there's lots of competition. If you're not tailoring to your audience, someone else will. Time commitment. Content creation takes a lot of planning not only to create the content, but also figuring out when, where, and how often to share it. Okay, question number four now. Are you already an expert in something? Business, design, photography? Sell your expertise. People want to learn, and a lot of people want to do it from the comfort of their couch. Research and Markets projects the global online education market to reach almost $320 billion in 2025. Create and sell an online course based on your expertise and let the royalties come in. Online learning platforms like Udemy and Skillshare are great places to share your knowledge. Help out those motivated beginners to gain the necessary skills to be successful. Work on the things that you're passionate about. This is your chance to choose. Focus on the topics you love instead of the things that are just assigned to you. Low startup costs. Compared to other online businesses, creating an online course doesn't have to be expensive. The only thing you might have to pay for is a subscription fee to a learning platform. An opportunity to generate leads. Use your good reputation to upsell or cross-sell. A good course that delivers results could lead to participants' interest in other programs or courses offered by you. Have to deliver results. You have to learn how to create effective course content to keep people interested and coming back. There's a lot of competing information for free on the internet, so you'll have to know how to give tangible results to your audience. You have to know how to market and sell. There's an extremely small chance that people will randomly stumble upon your course. You'll have to learn how to market and sell your course to an audience. Time commitment. Creating and compiling quality information and materials that'll keep your audience engaged takes time and effort. Like I said, there's a lot of free information already out there, so yours needs to stand out. And finally, question number five. Already have social media? Then you already have an audience. Get involved with a little bit of promotion. Good old affiliate marketing still exists for a reason. A Forrester report showed that eight out of 10 brands have affiliate marketing programs. Companies will pay you a commission when products are sold using your affiliate link. And no, you don't need to have your own blog or website, but more power to you though if you do. TikTok, Instagram, and other social media can work just as well. Get started literally right now by becoming a Printify affiliate. It's right here. Zero to minimal investment. All you have to do is promote products. If you want, you can start with a minimal cost of buying a domain or your own website. Easy to start. All you have to do is sign up to get started. Many companies even offer free starter packages to help you out, as well as marketing materials. Sizable product and marketplace selection. You can choose which products and complementary products to focus on or which have the highest commissions. The more popular the products, the bigger the marketplace. Commission-based payment. You're getting paid for each sale. Affiliate programs usually only pay once someone buys something using your link. And after one purchase, the customer might buy directly from the brand as opposed to through your link. Again, competition. There's a high chance a lot of other people are already doing the same thing that you'd like to do. Getting the attention of the right audience and standing out will take a lot of effort and patience. No control. Obviously, you don't own the affiliate marketing program. You have to follow and respect the rules and conditions set by the company and be able to adjust accordingly. So there you have it. If you've got a computer and an internet connection, some persistence and push, you've got five ways to make money online. Print on demand, freelancing, content creation, online courses, and affiliate marketing. We'd love to hear about your experiences or what other ideas you might have down in the comments below. Now give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and get out there and get that bread.